Now, there's been a lot of talk in the media about this you know, Republican soul searching. What do we do? It's the same thing as in 2008 after a big loss. Any party is going to take a look at what are the reasons why they lost and where do they go from here. Uh, there's not been a lot of attention paid to the libertarians, just like during the election, and sort of a postmortem as to why Gary Johnson. We're building roads, schools, bridges, and highways in Iraq and Afghanistan. Wasn't able to even crack the 1% threshold. We're borrowing 43 cents out of every dollar to do that. In my opinion, this is crazy. I talk personally to a lot of people who said, you know, I like Gary Johnson, but because he can't win, it would, it's outside my civic duty to vote for him. That mentality um, has to shift before I think we're going to see a credible candidate. The way forward from that uh, is not going to be through more electoral politics. I mean, I don't think in 2016 this is going to change. It may not even be in 2020 it's going to change. Uh, grassroots and education-based focuses on expanding ideas of liberty it just has to be where we continue to focus efforts. Mitt Romney and the whole Republican Party edifice forced Ron Paul away from their campaign. Spread the goodness of America, but just not with, that, with force. We should spread it by setting a good example, getting our house in order. A lot of sort of really dirty behind the scenes things went down at the Republican National Convention to even keep his son Rand Paul from mentioning his name. Uh, the votes for Ron Paul that were registered at the Republican National Convention weren't even announced from the stage. They lost maybe some support that they would have had from libertarians that, that might have come out to vote against Barack Obama. The Republicans they're often talked about as being fiscally conservative. From a libertarian perspective, it's not really the case. You know, when the going gets tough in the economy, they like to stimulate. Just like anybody else, they do it through targeted tax cuts. Democrats like to stimulate through targeted spending. From a libertarian perspective, uh, there's not a lot of positive feelings about where Congress is at right now. Even if Gary Johnson had been elected president, I don't know that we would have been able to get very close to a balanced budget. Um, and that's because the economy going into 2013 and 2014 even is not looking very strong. And in that environment, nobody really wants to balance the budget. I decided to sit down at a table with some guys and see if we could figure this out. You know, so one guy who's a self-described socialist, another uh, progressive, uh, conservative, Republican, and myself representing a libertarian. And the most we could come up with was getting rid of about half of the deficit over 10 years, and we couldn't get anywhere on entitlements. And none of us have to get reelected. Republicans oftentimes say that they're about freedom and an individual, individual choice, but you know, not when it comes to gay marriage. Democrats often say they're about choice, not when it comes to the legalization of marijuana and other drugs. In that sort of paradigm, uh, a libertarian vision of the future uh, is one that uh, is a positive one. It is about freedom. It is a, about being able to live the life the way you want. As libertarians are sort of like in this soul-searching mode, sticking to that, the fact that freedom is of incredibly high value here in the United States, and it is a wonderful thing, and that we are getting increasingly free. This is the, the better vision for where the United States can go, this libertarian idea of freedom and individual choice.